more cheerful than a big red balloon. I think it was Winnie the Pooh who said, no one can be uncheered by a balloon. I bet this balloon could even bring a smile to Sharky's face. I'll just tie this happy balloon to Sharky's front door and surprise him. Squishy bears began their historic flight to circumvent the Earth 11,000 times without landing. Kumbaya! Only 190 days to go! Mm -hmm. Uh, I have to go to the bathroom. And so ends the Squishy Bears' valiant attempt at a world record after two minutes in flight. Squishy Bears once again attempt to circumvent the globe in their specially rebuilt airplane. Hey, look, guys. There's someone down there that needs help. Well, we can't stop now. Just drop the supplies we don't need. lighten the load. We never needed that piano or that big heavy barrel of something silly called gas. Big heavy barrel gas? It said gas! Big heavy barrel of gas! Idiot! That was a fuel supply, you miserable shit! Thank <laughs> you. 
Fruits and vegetables onto monkeys, and news them to take over the world is proceeding smoothly. Ah, uh, yes, sir. Although I must admit, we're a little, well, confused by the whole concept. That is why you are an underling. You don't need to understand. Now, end over. Thank you, sir. This is nothing. I used to work for Roseanne. <laughs> Throw them in with the others. Here, they will learn to follow orders while at the same time performing a task. That's a little unclear also, sir. But, you know, whatever! No! Let's go find more monkeys to join our garden variety troops! <laughs> hey, looky! There's a new chimp on the block! Let's get him! Now, what will it be then? Hmm? A cantaloupe for a head? Watermelon? Rutabaga? Celery? Asparagus? Radish? Broccoli? Beet? Beethead! Beethead! Yes! Thank you for rescuing us. Now we must leave you to find a place where those like us will be welcome and live in peace. We thought we'd try Venice Beach first. As soon as we can, we will send help to rescue you. Finally located the missing shark dog the whole world has been looking for. It sure does, Jib. I'm almost positive that's him. When we're sure, we'll alert the president. <laughs> well, Hank, looks like there's nothing down there after all. That's right, Jib. Well, who wants lunch? Hello, I'm John Walsh, and welcome to a very unusual episode of America's Most Wanted. I must say, I thought I'd heard it all until the day I met one portly purple pussycat named Eek the Cat and listened to the twisted tale he had to tell. Well, uh, John, it all started last week, see? Uh, well, it was Arbor Day, and like everyone else, I like trees. So, well, I bought one for my neighbor Sharky as a gift. As I recall, it was really quite a lovely pine. Kumbaya, I just know Sharky's gonna love this tree. Boy, I love Arbor Day.
After being squashed under the tree that was intended as a thoughtful gift, Sharky the Shark Dog became enraged and decided to get back at Eek. That's when the trouble began. Finally got the Hubble telescope working. Yes, it sure is, Jeb. Now to check up on the um, rings of Saturn and see what unusual compound this uh, remarkable entity is comprised of. If I didn't know better, I'd say that the ring of Saturn is actually made up of a large school of carnivorous, planet-eating, um, space fish. That's right, Jeb. And it appears this hungry school of space fish that has eaten the core of Saturn is now heading towards Earth with the intention of devouring our planet. It sure looks that way, Hank. We'd better alert the president. Hey, guys, it looks like the Hubble telescope now has a perfect view of the cheerleaders' training camp. <laughs> it sure does, Jib. Well, who wants lunch? Hmm. Oh boy! It looks like that shark dog tried to blast into that armored car. What a scoop! <laughs> no important news stories are gonna get by this out. <laughs> so you see, Mr. Walsh, this is a mistake. Sharky fell out of the sky and accidentally slammed into this armored vehicle. He's not really a criminal. Oh, sure, he likes to bite things, especially me. But he's not a bad dog, not really. And now I think he may have lost his memory when he slammed through the armored car, because he wandered off and hasn't checked in, and all we get is an occasional postcard from someone named Bunky, who has Sharky's signature. And we're really worried about him. Especially his owner, my girlfriend Annabelle. Gee, she's really, um, very fat. Really? Quite a story, isn't it? We had to make sure Eek the Cat wasn't just some coconut head making up stories. I wasn't! We wanted to be sure, so we put Eek through a series of intense psychological tests. This won't hurt a bit, Mr. Um, ridiculously demented pussycat, sir. After rigorous examination, we came to the conclusion Eek's story was no fabrication. After checking with the armored car company, we discovered that no money was taken, and in fact, the hole in the six-inch thick armored vehicle was consistent with a shark dog re-entering Earth's atmosphere at an incredible rate of speed. Eek the Cat was telling the truth. Now his friend Sharky is wandering around somewhere suffering from amnesia. Before we help Eek find Sharky, here's a reminder to you bad guys on the run. You can run, but you can't hide. Kumbaya! I love it when he says that. Recently, our hotlines got a lead from an unusual source. Joining us now is Weird Al Yankovic with an update. Welcome, Al. Hello, John. Eek. Hi, Weird Al. Boy, I'm a big fan. I especially love that video where you sing... You sing one note and we'll be paying some goofball's publishing company from now till the end of forever. Do you want that, huh? Do you? So, Al, I understand you believe you may have some video of Sharky the Shark Dog. That's right, John. I made this home video while I was shooting Peppermint Twister, my latest video. It's kind of chubby checker meets Summer of 96's blockbuster Twister. It's just some behind the scenes kind of stuff. Take a look. If you look closely at the catering truck, way back there in the background, see this extra. Now this is either the world's hungriest extra or that's a shark dog. If you look close, well, to quote a famous educational show that is also heavily copyrighted, one of these things is not like the other. If my guess is right, John and Eek, Sharky, confused, hungry, and sometimes wearing a tutu, is trying to pick up work wherever he can find it. For goodness sake, people. This dog needs to be found and helped. <laughs> thank you. Kumbaya. Well, thank you, Weird Al. And I understand you've been elected to Congress. That's right, John. Well, congratulations. 
So, there you have it. Two new looks at Sharky the Shark Dog and how he may look today. Remember, Sharky the Shark Dog likes to bite things and may be looking for a job where he gets to bite things. If you see Sharky, give us a call. We'll be right back. Boy, that was sweet, John. Thanks for all your help. That's what we're all about here, Eek. You know as well as anyone that it never, never hurts, hurts to help. To help. Kumbaya, someone's bound to find Sharky now. Yes. Oh, really? You don't say? That's incredible. Well, I believe you, but no, I don't think so. But thanks for the tip. So, John, what have we learned? Well, apparently, when you subscribe to the Metropolis Times, you get the Sunday edition for free. Isn't that interesting? I already told you I don't want to subscribe. I... Huh? Oh, really? Sharky? Where? Thank you. Animal Control thinks they've spotted Sharky at a trailer park downtown. Oh, yeah, I hope we're not too late. He's coming out. <gasps> Can I help you folks? Oh, I, well, I, uh, well, we're just wondering if we could borrow a, a um, uh, cup of sugar. Sure. Be right back. Sorry, Eek. Well, I guess it's back to square one, Eek. It was an honest mistake, John. That guy sure looked like... Sharky! Sharky, wait, it's me, Eek! <laughs> hey, what luck, huh? Uh... Ugh. We got a gopher. Sharky's not a gopher. He's a shark dog. Sharky? Wait, Sharky, stay there. <coughs> I don't care. It stinks in this sewer, and I want to get out. You coming? Good dog. <coughs> Everything's going to be just fine. <coughs> Sharky's getting his memory back. Yep, it looks like Sharky's all back to normal and everything's gonna be just like that. Huh? Ooh. Ow. Well, you don't think I'd agree to do a cartoon and not come prepared. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> 